It's moving day. Kind of. It's kind of moving. It's kind of moving day. We closed escrow today, which means we get the keys to the house. Yeah, we were gonna sleep there tonight, but due to an ovarian cyst, we might not. You don't think so? I, don't I think was going I don't... to share that story in this video for sure later, but well, you can cut this in. You can cut that moment of me saying yeah, it yeah. later. I just don't think it's a good idea because you're so in pain. I don't want you to be in pain in a house where you can just hear the ghosts and like mm -hmm. you're in pain. You can't go in a house with ghosts. No. Are you going to sage it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, last night was rough. So, about four months ago, would you say? Four? Coachella, April, six months ago. Six months ago, I got an ovarian cyst and it was the most painful thing ever. I would wake up in the middle of the night with excruciating pain. And she didn't know it was an ovarian cyst. And I didn't know what it was yet. I had never gotten one before, it hurt so bad. And that was the time when you would put your phone on do not disturb, which you still do, but I think you took me off of that. No, I used to just put it on silent. It didn't silent. even have it on do not disturb. Okay. But now it's on do not disturb, so you're Calls would wake me up. Okay, and I called him a million times and he would never answer and it was really sad and I was just alone and if anyone has experienced it, it kind of, it, it goes in waves and it's extremely painful. It hurts to breathe and you suddenly get really cold and so you're just shaking the whole time as it just comes back and back and back and so, um, yeah, it's really, really not fun. Anyways, that happened last night. And she's so sad. It's she's really like brought to tears. She's like sobbing. It's oh yeah, so no, sad. I was like screaming. It. It's so. It's like the worst pain I ever. I totally believe it. And he Whoa. drew me a bath and he lit a candle and the, and the bath was so nice. It like immediately warmed me up and made me feel a lot better. Love you. I love you. I'd do anything for you. Last time this happened though, it didn't come back until like two nights later. I don't know if I'm gonna feel it tonight or if I'm just gonna feel it tomorrow you, night. You can call your gun. I should do that. You gotta do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Anyways, so that is quite the dramatic last night at Phineas's house. That's probably the last time I'm going to sleep in that room, huh? I, I don't know why else we would. Yeah. You know. That was a very bonding and nurturing moment between us. Sometimes we have like really good sex, sometimes she feels like an ovarian cyst. <laughs> Win some, you lose some. You never know what you're gonna get. I feel like our videos together are just, just bridging the gap to podcasts. This is like same crazy shit. 